In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit text on the iPhone using the Notes app. Keep in mind that this will work in any app that allows text. The first thing you'll notice is that if you long press and hold on a word, the word is automatically selected. There are three different ways to select text. To select all the text, that is, all of the text in the entire note, just tap on the first paragraph there until you get these options and choose Select All. This will select all of the text in the entire note. Be very careful while this is selected, as if you accidentally delete the text, you will end up with an empty note. To clear the selection, just tap anywhere in the blank space where there is no text, and the selection will disappear. To select individual words or individual lines of text in this case, just choose Select, then move the selection handle using the dot at the beginning and the dot at the end. When the amount of text that you want to select is selected, tap on either of these options. Notice if you tap the arrow to the right, you get more options. Each of these options will be covered in this video. You can place the cursor anywhere within a note by tapping on the screen in a blank space next to where you want to put the cursor. You can scroll down to the end of the note by swiping around and you can even dismiss the keyboard so that you're looking at just the note. This is helpful if you want to read the text. You can begin typing to add some new text to your note. You can add text anywhere. It does not have to be at the end of the note. Although by default, when you add new text, the cursor usually is placed at the end of the note and uses the next blank line to add your text. Just type your text as you normally would. Did you know that once you finish typing a sentence, if you double tap on the space bar, that will automatically add a period and a space before you move on to the next line of text. Tap select and move the selection handle so that one line of text is selected, then tap on cut. This will remove the line from its current position. Place your cursor where you want to put the text, long press till you see these options, and tap on paste. To scan text into a note, tap in the blank space until you see these three options. Then tap on the right facing arrow and choose autofill. Notice that you get contact and passwords. If your cursor is sitting in a blank space, you get a third option that says scan text. This allows you to scan text into a note using the camera on your phone or your iPad. Tap scan text. You can also tap the camera icon above the keyboard and tap on scan text. If you tap in the blank space one more time, next to autofill, you can see add link. I'm going to add the link to this playlist. Tap the share icon, tap on copy link. You're going to tap on add link, paste the URL in this box. Once you filled this out, tap done. And this link will be added to your note. So if I tap on it, I'll be taken back to my Apple messages tutorials playlist. Next to add link, you can see format. You will see this option, whether you have text selected or not. If you tap on format, this brings up a limited number of formatting options that you can apply to your text. Notice that each time you make a change, you need to tap one more time without removing the selection. If you do that, you need to adjust the selection like this. 
Tap the right arrow once more and tab on format. Underline just places an underline underneath the text. You can either swipe over or you can tap on the arrows on the end of this box here. And of course, strike through will put a line through the selected text. If you select format and your cursor is in a blank space, you will not see the changes made until after you start typing. Before you make any changes, make sure that the entire line of text, in this case, the title of this note, is selected. You can move these two dots up or down, side to side, to adjust the selection. If you tap the right facing arrow next to format, you can tap on find selection. Type in a line of text and you can see the phrase recover a message is highlighted in yellow. So if I wanted to know how to recover a message, I would just have to start reading from this point. If there was more than one instance of the phrase you were looking for in your note, you could use these arrows in the bottom right hand corner to move up or down the note. It has only found one instance of this exact phrase. When you're done searching, you can tap on done. In the middle of the screen at the top, you will find two arrows, the undo and redo arrows to restore the text to your note. Just tap the undo arrow, the one on the left, one time. If you need to redo something, use the arrow on the right. If you want to share the text, just tap on share. And you will be able to share the text. Let's say that you want to send it in a message. It's now ready to be sent in a message. Just add your contact up here and the send button will become available. For more tutorials on how to use Apple Notes, check out my Apple Notes playlist on screen now. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. Thanks for watching and join me next time.